Devin the Dream Haney finally comes out, does an interview, and speaks for himself. But he's not quite saying the same thing that his pops has been saying to everybody. We gonna talk about what Devin Haney been saying and the difference in what Bill Haney been saying about going up to 140 or staying at 135. Yeah, we gonna talk about it in this video, but before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already sub to the channel. What's happening with it, y'all? Like I said, smash on the like button. It's free. It don't cost nothing. And I'm going to continue dropping this content for y'all. Now, Devin Haney and Bill Haney, you know, they tight. They close, you know. And I want to give a shout out to Devin Haney because in his recent interview that he did, man, I like Devin Haney's energy. He was keeping it 100. A lot of Javante Davis's fans have been accusing Devin Haney of hating on Tank Davis and hating on Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia fight. And it's a lot to do with the things that Bill Haney has been saying. And I continue to tell people, Bill Haney and Devin Haney are two different people. Yeah, that's his pops. You can't continue to blame things that Bill Haney say on Devin Haney, you know? Devin Haney is his own man at the end of the day. He's 24, 25 years old. He is own man now, you know what I'm saying? He's not a kid no more. And Bill Haney, he got the gift of gab, you know? Bill Haney, he got that Oakland talking. You know, he, he from the streets. Bill Haney, you know, he know how to say things and he know when to say it. And he like to try to confuse people and take you around the block when he talk. You know, um, he got that game. He got that ism. And Bill Haney, he going to use that anytime he get a mic in his hand. But one thing about Bill Haney is he does a great job. I'm talking about a tremendous job promoting Devin Haney because Devin Haney don't got all of that. Devin Haney really don't got the gift of gab when it comes to, you know, spitting that ism and stuff. His daddy got that, but Devin Haney don't got that. So Bill Haney, he do a lot of the talking. And Devin Haney, he more proper, but salute to Devin Haney, man, because like I said, a lot of people, they was accusing him of hating on Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia. But when he talked about the fight, it wasn't no hate in his blood at all. He actually said it was a tremendous fight. He thought the fight is going to be a great fight, and he says that he thinks it's a great fight for the sport of boxing. So let's clear that up right off the bat. And I just want to tell people before I get into the nitty gritty of this video, I want to tell people, man, all these dudes is young. Javante Davis, Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, you throw Frank Martin in there, Ryan Garcia. Just because you are a huge fan of one fighter, you ain't got to hate on the other fighter and knock the other fighter and try to bring them down. You know what I'm talking about? And Devin Haney to me, right? I'm a fan of all these dudes, you know, but Dev and, and I like Shakur the best because I think he's better than all of them. That's just my, that's my opinion. But Devin Haney to me, he's never gave me no reason to hate on him. You feel me? He ain't never ducked no smoke. He ain't never acted funny or none of that. So, you know, salute to Devin Haney and letting the world know that, yeah, Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis is a hell of a fight. You know, it's going to be a good fight for boxing. It's going to do great for boxing. I just wanted to get that out there. That's not what this video is about, obviously. Now, in this video, I want to talk about the differences between Devin Haney and Bill Haney. We know that Bill Haney been coming out and he been telling the world that Devin Haney is staying at 135 to defend his straps. He ain't going nowhere. He want all the smoke with Javante Davis. He want all the smoke with Shakur Stevenson. He want all the smoke with Ryan Garcia or whoever it may be at 135. He's staying. He ain't going nowhere, at least for the rest of the year. And he's defending his titles, right? After he gets past Vasil Lomachenko, if he get past Vasil Lomachenko, yeah, he's staying and he going to continue to defend his title at 135. Five, all of the straps, the four straps that he got, he ain't going nowhere, you know, and Bill Haney has been adamant about that, but a lot of people been saying, man, we saw Devin Haney, his last way in against George Cambosis, and the man looked like he just had rolls about the casket, and he was still dead with embalming fluid in him, 
Yeah, that's how sucked up and dry he was. You saw that man brain. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you can see that man brain through them curls he had in his head. You know what I'm talking about? You saw the man's bones in his face. He was done with. You know what I'm talking about? If he lost him one more pound, he would have been dead. Actually, he looked like the walking dead when he weighed in. I ain't never seen nothing that bad. And so people were saying, man, it ain't no way after he fight Vasil Lomachenko, he stand at 135. What y'all trying to do? Y'all trying to kill this man? Ain't no way. And so Bill Haney, he's adamant. Yeah, he stand. We good. He's okay. He can make the way easy. You know, Bill Haney get to talking and it make you say, man, he ain't look like he can make the way easy last time we seen him. But Bill Haney was adamant. He on my show, adamant. We ain't going nowhere. We stand at 135. We right here. But then you hear Bill Haney and he get to talking about Shakur Stevenson and other fighters. And he says that, well, we went to top rank and we asked about the Shakur Stevenson fight. And we also ask about Teofimo Lopez and Josh Taylor. And like I said in my other video I made talking about this, well, Teofimo Lopez and Josh Taylor at 140. So Bill Haney admitted that he's inquiring about going to 140 pounds. He admitted it without saying it. You know what I'm talking about? All you got to do is listen. And I listen very well. But... Right after that, he telling you they ain't going nowhere. Devin Haney fine at 135. But Devin Haney, he finally got a chance to come out and speak on it himself. And Devin Haney ain't quite saying the same thing that Bill Haney is saying. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play y'all the audio and let y'all hear what Devin Haney had to say about staying at 135 pounds. And we're going to come right back and we're going to cook on it. 135 Shakur's moving up uh, obviously you got Tank Ryan um, if I'm not mistaken have you recently said that you're willing to stay at 35 to make all of those big fights happen before you go to 140 yeah um, I would love to, to make those fights happen um, that, th those are the biggest fights some of the biggest fights in boxing um, but it all starts with you know May 20th seeing how I feel how I make right. the weight um, and then and then we'll go from there but a lot of people forget. I've been at 135 since I was 16, um, and this is this this is just my first weight class. I got a long career, many 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 weight classes. This is what Shakur's third weight class, what Tank's second weight class, Ryan's second weight class. This is my this is my first weight class. So, um, if I do was to, if, if if I was to go up, then you know um, it would be because I just truly can't make the weight anymore. Not because uh, I don't want to make the biggest you fights happen. Because you know that's 135 is where the money at. That's where the legacy fights are. But um, we just got to see how I feel on, on uh, May 20th. So, so there you hear it from Devin Haney's mouth, and Devin Haney ain't quite saying the same thing that Bill Haney was saying. You know, Devin Haney is like, look, I've been at this same weight division my whole career. Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia, Shakur Stevenson. They didn't all moved around to different weights, but I've been stuck at 135 my whole career. Yeah, I do want to make these fights happen, but I ain't going to kill myself trying to make these fights happen. We got to see how I feel after May the 20th. After I run through Vasil Lomachenko, after I whoop him down, we got to see how my body reacts. We got to see how I'm feeling. But you ask Bill, Haney, oh, we ain't going nowhere. He cool. He make the weight fine. The, the, the weight is being made fine. We ain't got no problem. Yeah, but Bill Haney, you not in the one in there fighting. You ain't the one in there cutting weight. You ain't the one in there taking that damage and taking the punishment, right? Having to kill yourself making weight. Devin Haney, your son is. And so a lot of people going to run around, right? And say that he's ducking Shakur. Say that he's ducking uh, Javante Davis or Ryan Garcia if he moves up. And it's understandable that people going to say that because Bill Haney put that energy out in the air. And I rock with you, Bill. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, I rock with Bill heavy, but we just got to keep it real. Got to keep it 100. 
You putting that stuff out in the air and you're making Devin look bad if he do move up to 140. Now, I know what it is if he move up because Devin ain't never ducked no smoke. And I don't look at Devin as no ducker. You know what I'm talking about? And I understand if he just cannot make the weight no more. He ain't going to be stupid and put himself at a disadvantage trying to suck himself dry to stay at 135 to fight these killers. You know what I'm talking about? You want to go in against a Shakur Stevenson, a Javante Davis, a Ryan Garcia, Frank Martin, or whoever it may be, right? You want to go in against these fighters at full strength. You don't want to suck yourself down and put yourself at a disadvantage trying to fight these top class A-level fighters. So I feel it. You know what I'm talking about? But see, Bill Haney, he talking like, oh man, he don't got no problems and we stand. You can't do that. You can't do that, Bill. You know what I'm talking about? You got to listen to your son. You got to let him talk when it comes to things like that. Don't even talk for him. You know what I'm saying? Let him talk for himself when it comes to, you know, um, how he feels and moving up or down in weight. You dig what I'm saying? Because he not saying the same thing. He's saying, yeah, I want to make it happen, but we just got to see how I feel. You know what I'm talking about? Because I know all of the big money fights is at 135. But I ain't going to get knocked out trying to make the weight. You know what I'm talking about? Get in there, you know, not at full capacity, feeling bad and messing around, fight one of these dudes and get my ass knocked out. I ain't finna do all that. I'm going to do what's best for me. And I can dig it. You feel me? I can dig it. So I just wanted to let y'all know what Devin Haney had to say and him and Bill Haney ain't quite saying the same thing. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Make sure that y'all hit my like button so I can continue dropping this content for y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub. And like I said, I want to hear how y'all feel about this. Y'all already know how I do. Diego talking that boxing again and I'm gone.